Welcome to my complete guide on how to catch all the legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Be warned, if you haven't beat the game yet, mild spoilers up ahead. First things first, you're gonna have to beat the game. Once you beat the game, you're gonna go talk to Kagata, or whatever her name is, and she's gonna basically ask you all these questions. We're gonna be talking about plates and all that good stuff. And you're gonna ask her every single question that is in her list, and each one's gonna give you a side mission. If you open up her menu, you can see that there is uh, these different missions for plates. The first one's actually gonna be the Prelude Beach, which there's not really much to that. You're just basically gonna go to the uh, prelude beach which is where you first 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 started the game you're gonna have a little battle with a friendly friend of ours and he's basically gonna give you a plate so if we head over there really quick you can see uh, commander Kamado at the prelude beach which is kind of in the back area of Jubilife village he's gonna have a little bit of a chat with you you're gonna battle him and you're gonna get a plate from him and then we're gonna be good to go to continue to collect the other plates which also includes catching some other legendary Pokemon all right, so let's start with the lake Pokemon. First one, Obsidian Fieldlands, Lake Verity. We're going to go over here to the left side of the map. We've been here before in our playthrough, so you, you should be aware how to get here. We're going to go inside, and we're going to face off. Now, I'm just going to kind of let you guys know what I did personally. I used Shadow Ball a lot uh, to kind of get the uh, health down. Mesprit's a little bit annoying because Mesprit uses a lot of recovery, but eventually I got him down to uh, kind of a low health because uh, I had burn. I used fire, and there was a damage over time. A little bit risky. Make sure you save before each of these fights by the way and then use your ultra balls to throw or whatever balls you want but ultra balls are the most effective then we're going to go to crimson Marlins to lake valor for the next one which is going to be a zelf and i use the same method but a zelf doesn't seem to have that recovery the same way mesprit does so one shot with the shadow ball got it low enough i threw an ultra ball and i caught it just like that again these these ones are not really too difficult these legendary pokemon are actually pretty easy to catch next one alabaster icelands we're going to go to a lake uh, cutie if uh, that's how you pronounce it right and we're going to be facing Yuxi. I did the exact same move. Shadow Ball to get the health a little bit lower. Then I used Luxray's Quick Attack, uh, level 60 Luxray, uh, twice to get the health a little bit lower uh, into the red zone, and I threw an Ultra Ball. The idea is to get the health to the kind of red area. Uh, you could try it in the yellow area, but anyways, once you get all three, that's going to get, get you the Draco Plate, and we can move on to Heatran. So for Heatran, we're going to go over to uh, Cobalt Coastlands. We're going to be going to the Molten Arena, so this is where we fought one of the uh, frenzied Pokemon in the story. We're going to go inside the volcano. Don't really need to show you guys where it is because there's a little uh, icon there. There's going to be a cutscene. And uh, the way this battle works is there's going to be a bunch of mud balls on the ground. So you're going to have to pick them up and use these mud balls to throw at Heatran to lower that shield. It's very, very easy to do. So just continually do that till the shield's gone and then toss an Ultra Ball at it and you should be able to catch it very easily just like that. If you have any difficulty, you could fight it, I guess, if you want to, but I didn't have to. I threw an Ultra Ball, I caught it, and that will net you the next plate, which is the Iron Plate, which is very important to have before a future Pokemon. Next one's going to be in Coronet Highlands. We're going to be going to the Moon View Arena for Cresselia. Cresselia is pretty easy to uh, to get uh, as well. Maybe not as easy as Heatran, to be honest. Heatran is pretty easy. The way this is going to work when the battle starts, you're going to approach it, obviously. Uh, I am skipping all the cutscenes that happened prior, by the way, just to kind of uh, avoid spoilers, but you can see it will confuse you, which is going to invert your control. No, you can't throw a ball at it first. You have to battle it. So I went ahead again. I was using the shadow ball method uh, This uh, Pokemon obviously has psychic moves so be wary of that Dwindle its health down as low as you can once you do that I think mine was in the yellow when I threw the ultra ball and thankfully it was a success I got it I caught it and it was that easy and then you get the dread plate for that So uh, again pretty standard stuff like all these other Pokemon next one is Regigigas if I'm pronouncing it right Alabaster Icelands We're going to the snow point temple the very top northern area when you head inside of the temple you're going to go downstairs instead of going upstairs and when you go down there's going to be this door the reason why we needed the iron plate is because we need the stone iron and icicle plate first in order to even open the store so you can't get regigigas unless you beat heatran and uh, some of the others first so make sure uh, you do that first that's why i've been doing that in this order you can't really get lost here but i will show you guys a sped up version of it um, there's only kind of one linear path to go down and some other pokemon along the way again be wary of the different moves that Regigigas will use, like Zen Headbutt, for example, which could be very powerful depending on which Pokemon you have. Dwindle, dwindle, dwindle its health down, excuse me, and to uh, the yellow, it worked for me. I, I mean, if it doesn't work for you, try it into the red health, but I got down to the yellow bar, threw an Ultra Ball, and caught it, and you will obtain the blank plate from Regigigas. So after that, we're going to have to go visit Kogta again. She's going to want three logs, which you're going to have to bring her in order to get the Pixie Plate. Now, this is where you're 
is going to happen once you actually give her three logs. You're going to get the pixie plate. But if you don't know where to get logs, you can go to the Cobalt Coastlands right on this location right here. This image is via Polygon. And right where that red arrow is, you're going to go there and you can find a bunch of wood kind of around those trees in that area. You can leave Cobalt Coastlands, come back, and that'll reset the wood. And then you can grab three and then bring them back to her. So after that, we're going to go to the Sacred Plaza in the Cornet Highlands. And we're going to go talk to a friend. I'm going to skip the cutscenes again, trying to avoid spoilers. After you have that cutscene, you're going to have to head up to the temple where we uh, had the whole thing with Palkia and Dialga in the main story at the end of the game. And there's going to be a huge cutscene here. And then there's going to be a massive battle. You're going to have to fight six different Pokemon that are pretty difficult. And after that, you're going to have to fight Giratina and then the dark version of Giratina as well without even being able to have time to recover your Pokemon in between battles. So you got to fight six Pokemon and then two forms of Giratina. It's going to be difficult. Bring lots of revives, max revives, health, healing, all that stuff. Save before. It's pretty difficult. And then once you finish that, you're going to head back to Jubilee Village. You're going to have this kind of little cutscene play out and they're going to basically let you guys know that Giratina is actually in the wild. So now we can actually go ahead and we can catch Giratina ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so let's go over to Cobalt Coastlands and at the kind of top area from where the camp is, Northwest Turnback Cave is where you're going to want to go. So we're going to head over there. This is what it looks like from an aerial view. We're going to drop down into this cave and we're going to face off with Giratina. You've already fought Giratina at this point. You already know its move set, so you know kind of what to expect at this point from Giratina. So whatever, I guess, worked for you previously, do that. But this time, don't kill it. This time, obviously, you want to catch it, right? So you want to get its health as low as possible. I always like to use Shadow Ball to kick things off. I don't know why. I used Shadow Ball and then uh, Bite with Luxray. And then I was able to throw an uh, Ultra Ball at it. And I was able to catch it just like that. And when you do catch it, though, you will actually also see that it has dropped the uh, the greasiest, gre I don't even say greasiest, not greasy. <laughs> it's may Maybe it's greasy. But anyways, the core that allows you to uh, change its form. After that, go see the professor to finish off the quest and we can continue. So we're going to move on. We're going to go back home to Jubilife Village. We're going to go into the main building and Kogata is there this time. Now, Kogata is going to tell us about three different Pokemon. We're not going to yet go catch these Pokemon, but we need to obviously get this done first so we can go and see exactly what the criteria is. So, for example, when a rainstorm lashes and Cobalt Coastlands, we're going to find uh, one of them. I'll explain exactly what the criteria is for each one once we get there. But first, let's go catch a couple more legendary Pokemon before we catch these genie Pokemon. So if you have saved data for Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, you can head over to the quest board in the same building in Jubilife Village, and you can get the quest, the Darksome Night. And this is going to be able to uh, get you Darkrai, uh, Darksome Nightmare, excuse me, is what it's called. It's number 93. Again, you have to have saved data for Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. But if you do have that, and then we can go ahead and proceed and head over to Coronet Highlands. We're going to go to Clamber Claw Cliffs or whatever it's called. Uh, make sure it's nighttime or it's not going to actually work. So we're going to head over here and uh, cut scene is basically going to play automatically once you land in this location. The location is going to be marked if, you, if you've if uh, you tracked the quest in your quest board. So go ahead and do that. And there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene and then Darkrai is going to be roaming around. Now there's actually two ways you can do this. You can either fight Darkrai or you can actually capture it in a stealthy way. So I ended up just kind of throwing a bunch of smokes down. It was a little tricky because Darkrai keeps kind of bouncing around all over the place. Uh, but I threw some smokes down and eventually I threw an Ultra Ball at it and I was able to catch it first try with an Ultra Ball. So I didn't have to encounter it and have to fight it or anything like that so you can do whatever method you feel like doing uh, but that's just the method I used and now that we have Darkrai we can move on to the next Pokemon so for the next one we're going to go back to the Galaxy Hall and we're going to go to the quest board this one you're going to need either save data for Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield and you're going to get the quest a token of gratitude once you do that we're going to go to Obsidian Fieldlands and we're going to talk to this person right here there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene then we're going to head over here this is Floro Gardens it's just kind of to the left of the main camp once you dive in here there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene with Shaman popping up, the cute little Shaman. And uh, the way this is going to work is similar to Darkrai. You're basically going to try to either encounter it and fight it, or you can use stealth. So I used stealth. I threw uh, an Ultra Ball at it. It actually broke free, but since there was a bunch of smoke, I threw a second Ultra Ball at it. Uh, just make sure you're locking on with ZL to make sure if you are using smoke, because it can be a little bit tricky to spot when you do have the smoke, since Shaman is so tiny. And then once you catch it, you're pretty much good to go. Now, if for some 
reason Shaman runs away, just leave, go back to Jubilee Village, come back, and Shaman will be back just in case that happens. So anyways, Token of Gratitude is done. That is Shaman complete, so we can move on to the next one. All right, so let's move on to the three Genie Pokemon. We're going to start in Cobalt Coastlands to get Thunderous. You're going to have to wait and rest until each morning until you see the stormy weather. So it's going to be raining and strong winds. If you check your map at the top left corner beside Cobalt Coastlands, it's going to show a cloud with the thunderstorm icon. Uh, and then you're going to head over to these two pillars that you see in the distance, in the far distance. And once you make your way over there, you're going to encounter Thunderous. He's going to be zipping around all over the place and he's going to be throwing like these four different kind of uh, tornadoes at you that are going to do some serious damage. I actually fainted one of the times, so be very careful. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is throw like mud balls or something at him to bring down his shields. And when his shields are down, you can either try to throw a Pokeball at him right away. I tried that a couple times with an Ultra Ball. It wasn't working. Or you go ahead and throw a Pokemon at him to start an encounter, bring down his health a little bit. That's what I did. And then throw a Pokeball at him to try to catch it. So once you guys got him caught, we can move on to the second Genie Pokemon. So we're going to be going to Alabaster Icelands for this one. You got to wait for a blizzard and I'll show you guys exactly what a blizzard looks like. Top left corner, that's the icon you're looking for. We're going to go to Bone Chill Waste, kind of towards the center, just over this ridge. You'll see him kind of zipping around. This one's really, really, really annoying. Same thing, you got to throw uh, kind of mud balls or whatever at him to break his shield. And then you can either throw a Pokeball or a Pokemon at him if you want to battle. I threw a Pokemon at him because I couldn't catch him. And uh, look, an alpha Pokemon joined the fight. I ended up losing all my Pokemon. They all died, so I had to chase him on my own. After many, many attempts of trying to catch him just like this, I finally did it. He broke out of like seven Ultra Balls probably, but I finally did it and I caught Tornadus and just keep at it. It's really annoying, but you'll get it. And then we can move on to the next Genie Pokemon. All right, so we're going to go over to Obsidian Fieldlands. In the very bottom left corner, so southwest, you see this little island. It's called Raminus Island. Head over there. This is what it looks like from up top. And there is going to be a lot of alpha Pokemon here, so be wary of that. Just look around the island until you can find the next genie, Landorus. Um, it took me a little bit. I actually did like a couple tours around the island. For some reason, I kept missing them. Uh, same thing. You're just going to basically throw uh, mud balls or whatever else at him to lower its shields. You're either going to throw a Pokeball at it to stealth catch it or go ahead and battle it. If you do battle it, be wary that uh, its attacks are quite powerful, but get its health nice and low. Throw an Ultra Ball or whatever other ball I guess you want to use at it and uh, try to catch it. It broke out of it for me a couple times in the yellow health uh, bar area, but then finally on the second try, it uh, it stayed in the ball. So there you guys have it. Landorus is caught and we actually have a fourth genie, but it's a secret one. So let's go ahead and check that one out next. So what you're going to do is complete all three entries of the Pokedex for these three Genie Pokemon, and they're pretty easy. You just got to get to the research level 10. So basically just use their different moves, use it in Agile, Strong. You can use it against weak Pokemon, wherever you want. Very, very easy to get done. Once you do that, go to Ancient Ruins and talk to the old lady again. I keep forgetting her name. She's going to introduce you to uh, an Enamorous. And then you're going to find Enamorous in Crimson Mirelands, which is going to be Scarlet Bog in the uh, Crimson Mirelands specifically. And this one's very hard to get because uh, you can't get close enough unless you use stealth spray and smoke so use stealth spray use smokes otherwise it's going to keep zipping far away from you that's the only way you can get close enough uh break its shields like all the other ones do whatever you want either try to stealth catch it or go ahead and battle it first and uh whatever you do go ahead catch it and then that's pretty much it so you should be good to go again just make sure you use stealth spray and make sure you smoke uh otherwise you're not going to be able to get close enough again it's going to be scarlet bog in the crimson uh Mirelands. So the next one's going to be for Manaphy and Fiona. You're going to go back to the uh, request board in the Galaxy Hall and pick up the quest, The Seas Legend. And once you do that, we're going to head to Cobalt Coastlands. And uh, we're going to make sure that it's evening, not nightfall, but evening. So it's kind of like dusk out, orange skies. But we're going to need three specific Pokemon in our party, which is going to be Buizel, Mantike, and we're going to also need Overquill, which is the Hisuian uh, Quillfish evolution. So to evolve Hisuian Quillfish, you're going to use Barbarage 20 times in strong style in battle. Now, all three of these Pokemon can be found in Cobalt Coastlands, Buizel kind of around the shoreline here, and then both Mantike and Quillfish you can kind of find towards the uh, ocean side, uh, kind of in the, in the water around these kind of general areas. Just look around those areas and you should be able to find them just fine. Once you have all three in your party and it is evening, so it's orange skies, like I said, we're going to head over to the two little pillars back in the distance where we went and got the uh, one of the genie Pokemon earlier on. So head over there and it's going to trigger a cuts 
cutscene, and once it triggers a cutscene, we're gonna have to head over to a special cave. So open up your map and northwest from your location by Veilstone Cape, this cave right here is called Seaside Hollow. Make your way over there, and once you get to the cave, of course, just enter it just like that. It's gonna trigger a cutscene, and you'll see Manaphy, and not one, not two, but three Fiones. So you're gonna have to battle them all at the same time. Now, for some reason, for me, it actually only did it in battles of two, but I think other people that ended up being all four at the same time, I'm not sure. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is throw a Pokemon at one of their heads twice, uh, once to break the shield, and a second time to initiate the uh, battle, and then you're gonna have the battle begin. So just keep in mind that hopefully, you know, it only initiates two at a time. Try to spread them out if you can. Maybe it's because two of them were distracted, and that's why I was only facing two and not all four at once. Um, I tried to catch Fione right away with an Ultra Ball, but it didn't work, uh, even though it was only level 36. So just do whatever you can. I ended up defeating the first Fione. Obviously, the main one you want to catch is Manaphy. We also want to try to catch one of these Fiones because it's kind of a two birds, one stone, right? So um, I ended up catching two of the uh, last Fiones. I defeated the first one and I caught Manaphy. Just do your very best to kind of hang in there, not to defeat them, but to, uh, you know, Dwindle their health down just enough so you can actually catch them with an Ultra Ball or whatever ball you end up using. Uh, it's just kind of trial and error. Make sure you save before this battle just in case you accidentally defeat uh, all the Fiones or in case you accidentally defeat Manaphy. You should be okay though. Just do whatever you got to do and uh, get them captured and then we can move on to the next one. So this is the final one and it's going to be the one and only Arceus. You need to first complete your Pokedex in order to be able to even encounter Arceus. It is the final mission of the game now you only have to catch every single Pokemon you do not have to complete all the research entries for every single one this is what it looks like there's 241 Arceus is 242 you can see how many Pokemon are in each region right here and you just got to basically keep at it I got a bunch of guides for some of the more kind of tricky Pokemon up on the channel if you guys want to see those uh, that might help you get your Pokedex filled out after that go to Cornet Highlands go over to the temple at the very very top where we went to go fight uh, Palkia and and um, uh, Dialga, and then you're gonna play your flute. It's gonna be a whole cutscene, and you're gonna end up going up these uh, magical stairs into this universe, into heaven. And then you're gonna have to fight Arceus, and Arceus has a lot of different moves. If you do fail, which I failed multiple times, you can continue your progress and keep your previous gauge progress so you don't have to keep uh, restarting from the top, which is very, very good. It goes by quarters, by the way. There's four quarters. So once you defeat Arceus, you've uh, basically sh uh, threw all the bombs at him. You don't have to fight him with any of your Pokemon you don't have to capture him at the very end he's gonna give a piece of himself to you and right there you have Arceus now in your party you have 242 Pokemon your Pokedex is complete so there it is those are all the legendaries in Pokemon Legends Arceus I hope you guys found this video useful I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave it a like share it with your friends subscribe for more Nintendo Pokemon content and let me know which one is your favorite out of all of these I mean Arceus is pretty awesome it's the title Pokemon after all and it's the pokemon the, uh, of creation if you will so pretty exciting stuff thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well and until the next one game on